Hey everyone, in today's video, I want to show you a new sketching style that I'm digging into and that's drawing with a red pencil and using it with watercolor. I think this combination of red lines with watercolor, it works really well. So this is a sketch that I drew a few days ago. I drew this with this Krita Color Marino pencil which is actually supposed to be water soluble but it doesn't dissolve in water that easily so it's still quite suitable for drawing lines like this and I think the sketch with watercolor it turned out quite well. In today's video I will be drawing with this red pencil again just to show you what it's like to be drawing with it. In addition to that I will also be using a ballpoint pen with red ink. I will also be using a dip pen either this one or this glass dip pen just to try out different styles. This is the other sketch that I drew with the same pencil I'm really loving the look. I like the contrast of the red lines against the white paper. By the way, this sketchbook that I'm using, this is a customized sketchbook with Archer's hot press paper. So you can see here some of the pigment from the pencil. It actually dissolves because this is supposed to be water soluble. But the lines, they are still quite sharp, still quite bold. For this first sketch, I just want to do a very quick sketch of a canvas shoe with this pencil. One of the disadvantages of drawing with this pencil is, at least with this particular wooden pencil, is you have to sharpen it quite often when it becomes blunt. This paper that I'm using, this is from the Hanamole watercolor sketchbook and the paper texture is considered cold press. For the second sketch, I'll be using this Uniball Signal gel stick. This pen, this disposable pen, actually features waterproof pigment ink. This is actually one of my favorite disposable pens. Drawing canvas shoes um, is actually not that easy. I've already lost track of the number of shoelaces I have to draw, so this is definitely not easy. Oops, this is supposed to be behind, this is supposed to be in front. Okay, I think I make a, made a mess out of it. Anyway, this sketch is just to demonstrate red ink, red lines. I've got another try here, and this time I'll be using this dip pen with Dr. PH Martin's Bombay ink. This color is crimson. Let me try and get the shoelaces right this time. Maybe another one with this glass dip pen since I already have this on my table. I don't have a lot of space so I'm just going to draw this very small. It's actually quite nice to draw with this glass pen. Oops, ran out of space there. Oops, too much ink here. I'll need to pick that up. If not, it's, this is going to take a long time to dry. Let me try and pick up the ink. The ballpoint and the pencil, they dry instantly. I mean, there's nothing to dry. Let me color this pair of shoes first. For the side of the shoe, this is ultramarine and burnt umber. Too much water here. This is going to take forever to dry. So let me just pick up the water. This has dried much faster than I expected. This is a really nice combination. For the shadows, once again, ultramarine and burnt umber. Let's make this green. Yellow green at that. For the last one, let's make it orange. Almost like the first pair of shoes. I just want to see what's the difference between uh, applying water over ink versus over the pencil. 
and the shadows on the side. The watercolor has dried quite nicely. Let's take a closer look. So in terms of contrast, the pencil line definitely has less contrast compared to the ink lines and also the pencil lines. There is this textured edge to it. So with pencils, you are going to get the textured lines. With pen and ink, you are going to get the sharp bow lines. I'm not sure which one I prefer. Now, if you are using pencil, it's best to use non-water soluble pencil. I can see some of the lines here. They have already dissolved in the water, so I wasn't able to see the lines very clearly now. And if I were to draw a lot with red pencil, I would definitely get myself those um, LEDs, those pencil LEDs for the mechanical pencils. I still like the look and feel of these red pencil lines with watercolor. It's a nice combination. So this sketch was drawn with the glass dip pen and this combination of pen and ink with watercolor works very nicely as well. And sometimes it's more interesting to use colored lines rather than just black lines from black ink. And here the watercolor, the blue, um, it goes well with this crimson color. I like it. And for this green colored shoe, this was drawn with the Uniball Signal Gel Stick. The red ink here, this is brighter, more vibrant compared to the crimson. So the crimson has more contrast against the white of the paper. The ink from this Uniball Signal Gel Stick, it dries almost instantly, so you can use watercolor over the ink straight away. And this ink, it's waterproof. The last shoe here, this was drawn with the dip pen with colored India ink. So you can see some line variation, some thin and thick lines going on. And watercolor works really well with it. The ink is waterproof. It takes a bit longer compared to the ballpoint to dry, but once it's dry, it's permanent. And this color, I just love the contrast against the white of the paper. And this particular color, crimson, it looks really nice. In the new year, I can definitely see myself drawing more with either the red pencil or with red ink. I'm probably going to bring these bottles out to use with the dip pen, either with the glass dip pen or with the normal dip pen. I think the colors, they look great. So the colors that I have here, crimson, cherry red, red violet, and tangerine. Red and orange colors, they have this nice warm feeling. I can't wait to draw more of them. So today I just wanted to show you this new style that I am experimenting with. Do you like the look? Do you draw with red pencils or colored inks? Let me know in the comment section below. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.